Have you ever felt like God's forgotten you? Like his promises are taking too long? You're not alone. The Bible speaks to this very feeling. In Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, we find a powerful reminder of God's faithfulness. For the vision is yet for the appointed time. It hastens toward the goal and it will not fail. Though it tarries, wait for it. For it will certainly come, it will not delay. This verse is a beacon of hope. It's God's personal promise to you and me. God's timing might seem slow to us, but he's never late. He's always right on time. This verse tells us to wait, to trust, to believe that what God has promised will come to pass. Think about it. God, the creator of time itself, knows exactly when to act. He sees the big picture. He knows what we need and when we need it. His timing is perfect, even when we can't understand it. God's timing is like a beautiful tapestry. From our perspective, we only see the backside. It's messy with knots and loose threads. But God sees the front. He sees the masterpiece he's creating in our lives. Every delay, every wait, every seeming setback is part of his perfect plan. He's weaving together something beautiful, something we can't even imagine. His timing is precise, purposeful, and always for our good. Remember Joseph in the Bible? He waited years in prison, but God's timing led him to become a ruler in Egypt. He saved his family and an entire nation from famine. What seemed like a delay was actually God's perfect preparation. God's timing might not match our schedule, but it always matches his purpose. He's never early, never late. He's always right on time, trust in his timing. It's a divine masterpiece in the making. Waiting can be hard. It can feel like God's saying no, but here's the truth. God's delays are not his denials. They're part of his divine plan. Every wait has a purpose. Every delay is designed to shape us, grow us, prepare us. Think of a fruit tree. It doesn't bear fruit overnight. It takes time, seasons of growth. The same is true for us. God uses seasons of waiting to nurture our faith, to deepen our roots in him, to prepare us for the fruit he wants us to bear. Remember David? He was anointed king as a young boy, but he didn't take the throne for years. That waiting time wasn't wasted. It was preparation. God was shaping him into the king Israel needed. When we're waiting, we're not standing still, we're growing, we're being prepared. God is working behind the scenes. He's orchestrating events, aligning circumstances, all for our good and his glory. Trust his plan. The wait is worth it. Have you ever noticed how the things we wait for often taste sweeter? There's something special about delayed gratification. It makes the reward all the more precious. The same is true with God's blessings. When God delays, he's often preparing something even better than we imagined. He's not withholding good things from us. He's making sure we're ready to receive them. He's ensuring the timing is perfect, not just for us, but for everyone involved in his plan. Think of Abraham and Sarah. They waited years for a child, but when Isaac was born, their joy was immeasurable. The long wait made the blessing even sweeter. It strengthened their faith and became a testimony to God's faithfulness. God's delayed blessings are often his best blessings. They come with added wisdom, deeper appreciation, and stronger faith. When we trust God's timing, we position ourselves to receive his sweetest gifts. The wait might be challenging, but the reward is worth it. When we're waiting, it's easy to feel forgotten. But here's a comforting truth. God never takes his eyes off you. He's watching. He's working. He's deeply involved in every detail of your life. Even in the hardest times, he's right there with you. The Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. This is a promise you can cling to. God sees your struggles. He hears your prayers. He's not distant or uninterested. He's intimately involved. During hard times, God is doing more than just watching. He's protecting. He's guiding. He's preventing unnecessary trials. He knows exactly what we need to grow, and he never allows more than we can handle with his help. Remember, God's delays are not punishments. They're protection, they're preparation. He's shielding you from things you're not ready for. He's preparing the way ahead. Trust his watchful care. He sees you, he loves you, he's got you, he's got. When delays come, it's tempting to doubt God's love. We might think if God really loved me, he'd answer right away. But that's not how God's love works. His love is perfect. And sometimes perfect love says wait. God's love is not measured by how quickly he answers our prayers. It's measured by the cross, by Jesus dying for us. That's the ultimate proof of his love. And that love doesn't change whether he answers immediately or asks us to wait. Trusting God's love means believing he wants what's best for us even when we can't see it, even when it hurts to wait. His love is constant, unchanging, and always working for our good. Romans 8:28 reminds us that God works all things for the good of those who love him. Don't let delays shake your faith in God's love. Instead, let them deepen your trust. God's love is not determined by his timing. It's determined by his character, and his character is always good, always faithful, always loving. Trust in that love, even in the delays. Praising God in times of waiting can be challenging, but it's also powerful. It shifts our focus from our circumstances to our creator, from our problems to his promises. Praise reminds us of who God is and what he's capable of doing. 
When we praise during delays, we're declaring our trust in God's timing. We're saying, God, I don't understand, but I trust you. This kind of faith pleases God. It strengthens our relationship with him. It opens the door for him to work in mighty ways. Remember Paul and Silas in prison? They sang praises at midnight, and God shook the prison foundations. Their chains fell off, doors opened. Their praise led to a miraculous deliverance. The same can happen in our lives when we choose to praise in difficult times. Praising God during delays doesn't change God. It changes us. It lifts our spirits. It strengthens our faith. It reminds us of God's faithfulness in the past. And it prepares us to receive the blessings he has in store. So lift your voice in praise, even in the waiting, especially in the waiting. Learning patience through God's timing. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit, but it doesn't grow overnight. It's cultivated through experiences of waiting, through trusting God's timing even when it's different from our own. God uses delays to teach us this valuable virtue. James chapter 1 verse 4 tells us, Let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Patience isn't just about waiting. It's about waiting well. It's about growing, learning, and becoming more like Christ in the process. Think of a master potter working with clay. He doesn't rush. He takes his time carefully shaping the vessel. That's what God is doing in our lives through his timing. He's shaping us, molding us, preparing us for the purpose he has for us. Learning patience isn't easy, but it's worth it. It builds character. It deepens our faith. It prepares us for greater responsibilities and blessings. So embrace the lessons of patience that come through God's timing. They're preparing you for something beautiful. The ripple effect of divine delays. God's timing doesn't just affect us. It has a ripple effect that touches many lives. When God delays, he's often orchestrating events that will impact not just us, but others around us. His plan is bigger than we can see. Think of Esther in the Bible. She became queen for such a time as this. God's timing in her life saved an entire nation. What seemed like delays were actually God's perfect preparation. He was positioning her for a purpose bigger than she could have imagined. When we trust God's timing, we become part of his bigger plan. Our faith, our patience, our trust can inspire others. It can open doors for God to work in amazing ways, not just in our lives, but in the lives of those around us. Remember, your story is connected to others' stories. Your weight might be preparing you to help someone else. Your testimony of faith during delays might be exactly what someone needs to hear. Trust God's timing. Its effects reach further than you know. Embracing the journey of faith. Trusting God's timing is a journey of faith. It's not always easy. There will be moments of doubt, moments of frustration, but each step of faith, each choice to trust, brings us closer to God. It deepens our relationship with Him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When we trust God's timing, we're exercising this kind of faith. We're believing in what we can't see yet. We're hoping in God's promises even when circumstances seem contrary. This journey of faith is transformative. It changes us from the inside out. It builds our character, strengthens our resolve, and deepens our dependence on God. Each delay, each wait is an opportunity to grow in faith. Embrace this journey. Don't rush through it. Don't wish it away. There are treasures to be found in the waiting. There are lessons to be learned, strength to be gained. Trust the journey. Trust the God who's guiding you every step of the way. Your next step growing in trust. So where do we go from here? How do we grow in trusting God's timing? It starts with a decision to trust, even when we don't understand. A decision to wait, even when it's hard. Believe in God's goodness, even in delays. Immerse yourself in God's word. Read his promises. Remind yourself of his faithfulness. Memorize verses like Habakkuk 2, 3. Let them sink deep into your heart. Pray and pour out your heart to God. Be honest about your struggles, but trust his timing. Thank him for what he's doing, even when you can't see it. Share your journey with others. Subscribe to our channel and join a community of believers who can encourage you. Your story can inspire others in their journey of faith. Together, we can grow in trust, patience, and faith in God's perfect timing.